It's no, funnier no, no. than what you just do it. Oh no, an egg. <gasps> Everyone in McKinney is dead. The temperature, the, the heat and d Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro, sweetheart. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Sweetheart, uh, buff. <clears throat> Today, I had the team gather a list of some of some more recent, uh, what they think are funny TikToks that could make my wife and myself laugh. Neither of us have seen any of these going in. Cold reaction. Let's get it started. You know my wife loves people falling on ice, right? I'm not even kidding, but I'm just sliding down fucking hell on my ass. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why are you holding sliding? your phone? <laughs> <laughs> He's flying, dude. Is he trying to get the opposite direction? He's really, he's going he's to the- He's enjoying himself. He's in a breakneck pace right now. I don't know if he slipped and fell and then was like, oh man, I'm not, all right, we're just going now. And then he's like, you know, let me just pull my phone out and record this. He's like cruising at like 15 miles an hour, just sliding down the ice, looking around. How's your frozen butt cheeks? That looks more fun than sledding, honestly. Until you hit like a pothole or something or it wrecks your spine. Oh. This is the most Canadian crime ever. So this man kicked in the, the door Canadian to see the bakery in Vancouver. Once he got oh. inside, he walked around for a bit and then sat in a chair for 15 minutes and God. then decided to use the bathroom. Feeling bad about what he had done, he found a mop in a bucket and began cleaning the smashed glass on the floor. He then took a couple of selfies on the store's phone, grabbed a box of six chocolate cupcakes and left. What? After a couple of days, the man called the store owner and apologized. He offered to pay for the broken door as well as the six cupcakes he had stolen. The store owner asked the police not to press charges and instead she created a signature cupcake in honor of the man called the crime of passion cupcake so this what? Man... when I saw the beginning of this it made me think of you I'm like I can imagine my honey walking by like a cupcake shop that was closed and just having that hankering so bad that you just drilled down the glass door excuse you well, I mean you wouldn't have sat there for I 15 pay minutes for my treats. and then you you go and take a deuce and then you go you would have went and grabbed cupcakes though. He just sat there and then bounced and felt bad about himself and then. Oh no, I obtain my desserts legally. <laughs> yeah, most Canadian crime ever, sure. The crime of passion cupcake, I bet it's delicious. What a good marketing move though by the owner. Can I pet the? Yeah. No. Can I pet that doll? No. Can I pet that doll? Can I pet that doll? No, no. Can I pet that doll? No, he's Can I pet that doll? It's no, funnier no. than what you just do it. It just continues to escalate. No. <laughs> no. Black bear, just like, oh yeah, I give, know. give me that little hand, baby yeah, girl. really, really wants to pet the dog. Uh, can I pet that dog? Oh. I feel like someone needs to make a song out of that. It's probably already happened. Holy crap, just real quick, if, just in case. Oh, God. You know. Can I pet that dog? No. Can I pet that dog? No. Of course it's not even made. Come on. Come on. <laughs> the dog head bob. <laughs> How dare you think it already has it hasn't already been done? <laughs> How dare you click off of that? So <laughs> You're on the I time was trying to crap out of it. Oh sure, let's just cut this one short though. Can I pet just... that dog? Pet <laughs> that dog? No. Not so recent, but that was hilarious. I don't care what it's from. Oh so my god. They should make a song out of that. She says, can I pet that dog? Dog, you know what? dog, dog, dog. What? The song was even better than I anticipated. Oh Yo, yeah, yeah, the old trap remix. People who shouldn't be in the kitchen on, huh? ooh, this should be relatable to you. Yeah. On the other end of the spectrum. The name is Leon Lush. Exactly right. <laughs> Wait, I have fears about the dishwasher. You know this. I know. Hold on. I didn't. I gotta see that in full sound. Hold on. Oh no, no. <laughs> we always not joke, but talk about when we leave the dishwasher open and it's down. We're always like, oh, be careful, careful dishwasher. I'll always give a heads up. Because I told her it's a story. Open. I don't even know what it was from. A, a, a television show. It was from like a cheesy television show where one of the main characters was a mother that was paralyzed from the neck down, and the reason she got paralyzed is because her son accidentally pushed her into the dishwasher that was open and she like broke her C-spine. Just another thing to be afraid of. Yeah, so we just have this meme in our house about it. It's also the location of it too. You could easily it's, trip over it's it. It's right in the middle of the way you walk around the kitchen in our house. Yeah, anyways. Oh, I ain't pop yet. You want, you want to pop, huh? Oh no, an egg. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> That'll burn you. 
Oh, oh, Jump no. scares don't get me, but it explodes. <laughs> oh, pickle dicks. Oh, Never boy. Jump scares yeah. don't get me, but an exploding egg will. Yeah, yeah, that's probably like top three year worst nightmare. <laughs> Just a hot egg exploding in your face. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, that's crazy. You usually love things explode. You know what? Yeah. <clears throat> no, mm. I'll go. <laughs> Exit the refrigerator. Ma'am, quit resisting. Get out of the refrigerator, ma'am. You are resisting arrest. Ma'am, please exit. Please exit the refrigerator. No, ma'am, you need to exit now. We don't have time for this. Exit the refrigerator. The crazy part is, in the body cam videos I've watched on my main channel, I've seen adults acting more outrageous than that. Oh, yeah. That was cute, though. We don't want to lose anybody else this year. We you see the name? Lot. Yeah. Tragedy. You think that's real? I can see a mother naming her daughter Peace. Yeah. But definitely not if your last name is Ishit. <laughs> uh, Peace Ishit. Peace Ishit. Are you here? <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know. Even if it's not it's real. It's definitely uh, like a knock knock joke, unfortunately yeah. for her. Who's there? Peace. Peace who? Peace what? is shit. <laughs> you're really having a good time. I hate my life. Right now in Terrell and in Dallas, your your heat index is one hundred and seven. Everyone in McKinney is dead. The temperature, the, the heat index right now in McKinney is 10,000. What is that? 101,105. It's hot in McKinney. Everyone in McKinney is dead. It's a little witty forecast there, a little typo on the green screen, I think. Yeah. <coughs> let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh, I see this. You have? Yeah. Hey, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. What did he want wait. to tell me? Uh, uh, they just tip you over uh, off a chair. That's brutal. What the hell is wrong with humans? That would be a thrill. What are you talking about? I don't just know. Just in a plastic patio chair? Yeah, I don't know if no. I want a triple decker patio chair. That is sketchy. Strapped to me, but okay. Just no. Fire Marshal Bill here, kids. Let me show you. Between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. I'm gay. Marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. I'm gay. <laughs> I don't need to know the context. There's I don't need any. None. Before, before and after Bud Light, of course. So that was over the whole controversy, the Bud Light controversy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, uh oh. Girl, take the potatoes. Oh, oh I thought you was toasting the flame. <laughs> It's kind of funny because that's like something we might do. I've definitely like ice cream cone cheers. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> cheers like random things in the house. Drinks, yeah, obviously. Sure. Food. Definitely ice cream cones. Definitely ice cream cheers. It's four quarters for an hour, but a quarter only gets you 15 minutes. Oh, so dear. If my math is correct. That's not an hour. That's not an hour. Not an but hour. it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> and also. A quarter to <gasps> <15 minutes>. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Take that off. Take that off. You're right. 15 minutes is a cool. I swear to God, I do not do drugs. I have not had liquor. You don't look like you do drugs. Yeah. Friends are leaving. Me. Well, not, anyways, we're doing a story. At least not non anabolic ones. Exactly. <laughs> Darn it, you stole my words. Is that what you were going to say? I, yeah, I was yeah. trying to think of how to say it. That's kind of funny. He when You could tell the moment you're like, <gasps> Oh no, yeah. this is on camera. I'm on a news station. I just f***ed up and now I live on the internet the in infamy in. forever. Yeah. Ooh. This is a giant straw challenge. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna get this bit in one go, period. I got my nugget on the Sorry. Period. Oh, he's gonna use that as a straw? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> How do I let this? Wait, can we have you try this? How did you think that was gonna happen? That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. I, I just mean, can't imagine that would be easy. You can shotgun a beer, can't you? Yeah, but with the beer, you're shotgunning a beer, you're just letting gravity do the work. I used to When's shotgun When's the last beers. time I shotgun a beer? Holy crap. I used to practice in my shower at home. <laughs> Oh yeah. Are you yeah. serious? Dead ass, me and my buddy when I was like, in high I school. I should be able to show off. It would be like a random school night and we'd get a 30 pack of Bud Light. I'm gay. And just shotgun beers in my shower. In the second floor shower, because I was on the third floor, my parents lived on the first. But there was a point in time where I could chuck in a beer in under two seconds. I was also close to 300 pounds, so that helped. But I was a real life Frank the Tank in high school. <laughs> oh my.
my God, funneling beers. Like we used to do ones at frat parties where I wasn't in a frat, by the way, I know, shocker. But I did go to some frat parties in my life where you would do like the five beer funnels. So you'd literally just oh take God. a bigger funnel, five beers from the second story. We should get a beer funnel and just do a contest to see how, like to time ourselves. Well, you want to talk about the fact that you've practiced your whole life for this moment. I haven't uh, done this was, in many years, but I will say I was once very good at funneling beers. Not shotgunning, but funneling. So you could always tell if someone was good or not, because the good people, you could just watch the beer go, and the bad people, you just watch it, it chunk like down. Stop. They're like yeah. taking gulps, you know? No, it's like, no, you got to open that throat and just let it pump into your stomach, dude. <laughs> That's what he said. Facebook Marketplace for golf balls? That's pretty impressive. Oh, is he going to dump it? Is no. He, he's leaving the money. And the golf balls are out there. Uh-oh. Uh, uh -oh. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just commits away. That was not his fault. They were in a bag. I know. That busted open. That's just a move by the owner there. At least yeah. double bag it or something. something. Oh, yeah. Not Pilato, it's not Pilato. It's not Pilato? This is. That's Pilato. Okay. What the f***? <laughs> so he was actually trigger tapping that. I used to be friends with a kid that like was a big paintballer. They used to have these little tap triggers. You can't obviously use full auto in That's competition. So but like, well, I'm sorry, obviously. I, I don't think you can. I don't know the rules. I but have no idea. What it got to the point about. where you could literally just, he got so good at tapping the trigger, like the hair triggers, that you could shoot like 10 paintballs a second. You're just like, <laughs> you just put your finger in and just like, do that. Now this is full auto. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I see it again. Bro got reset. <laughs> he got Oof. Oh my god. He really sold everything to try and block that pump fake. Oh no, I can't quit basketball. What's happening? Yeah, it's mildly embarrassing. You hit, the, you hit the court pretty hard. What's your wildest subway experience? Can't front, I seen a pigeon get on for one stop and then get off on the next one. Like, you could have flew there, man. What's your wildest subway experience? I can't front, I seen a pigeon get on for one stop and then get off on the next one. Like, you could have flew there, man. He's gotta be, he's gotta be making that out, right? And Pigeon just walks on. This is New York. Hops it's in a seat. Definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Not. Pulls out a little mini newspaper. Yeah. Gets off on the next stop. Pops his earbuds in. Classic Ooh. Pigeon. The lazy Pigeon is tough. <laughs> he ain't want to add unnecessary mileage to his wing. <laughs> The comments on these things are so funny, dude. Thank you guys so much for joining us for a couple of giggles, a couple Wait of news and highs. Wait a minute, before we go, what? Oh. Eh, before we go, oh. can I pet that dog? We're in Club Leon Lush here, apparently. 